at Next Factor, we are doing things that they're never done before. And it's all about speed of manufacturing. We want to uh, make a transition from rapid prototyping in additive manufacturing towards low and medium volume production. I got a call from Cuba about three and a half years ago. I was at that point retired from 3D Systems where I was president and CEO for about 12 years. He sought me out because of my experience and we started a dialogue. The dialogue ended up <laughs> with a new company and a very exciting product. We believe that future of manufacturing is about automation. We developed this beautiful system where you have exchangeable printing chamber which goes into the machine. This type of factory can operate 24 hours, seven days a week. You are able to use our machine from your phone with connection from everywhere in the world. You could download, file, prepare a job and send it to the printer. We can have a fully hands-off manufacturing process. When we looked at what would it take to design the pre-production machine for Next Factory, both uh, Tomas, Kuba and myself felt that Autodesk Fusion 360 could be the ticket. And we continue to delightfully surprise ourselves because we're able to design the whole machine from the ground up using the uh, Fusion 360. We have fairly small team, but we need to operate on the same uh, models and assemblies uh, simultaneously. And the Fusion 360 was the only one solution we could find on the market, which gives us opportunity to really engage everybody from the team to work on those assemblies, on those models, share ideas instantly without waiting for anybody to work on it. We embrace fully digital age and industrial 4.0 capabilities. So we are pushing forward the boundaries of how we produce things with the ease of use of Fusion 360. It allowed us to do in weeks what normally takes months. We're really excited about it. We think that Next Factory is the next paradigm shift in additive manufacturing for production. We can't wait to to bring it to market and we couldn't have done it without Autodesk Fusion 360.